Hello, and welcome to the Tavern Chat Podcast. Now, I, I got an interesting question from Tim Stone. He left a voicemail, and I'm going to play the voicemail, and then I'm going to play some other stuff, because, yes, it's time to catch up and see where we are at with a certain thing. So here is... Hey, Eric, uh, Tim Stone. Tim. Just listened to last week's uh, podcast with uh, Bad Mike and yourself. Extensive conversation about Gail. Uh, Gil Gygax and uh, the various uh, machinations uh, uh, that she that she's currently under. And I was curious, whatever happened to that documentary that was kickstarted? Well, now it was actually two documentaries that were kickstarted, and there was a dispute between the creators, and then two of the creators left to kickstart a second documentary. And then it became a lawsuit. I'm just giving general background information. And then a couple of years ago, the lawsuit was dropped with prejudice, meaning that it, it's not going to go anywhere. It was dismissed. Um, and the original Kickstarter, oh, uh, God, what was the name of the original one? Uh, Dungeons and Dragons, a documentary. From Westport Films, I don't believe that hasn't updated since January 25th, 2016. It raised nearly 200,000, 195k. I don't think uh, anything became of that. That was, uh, how do we say it in the industry, in, in the gaming industry, vaporware? That was vaporware. So, but there was the Great Kingdom. We'll get to that in a second. Back to Tim. Uh, a few years maybe after Gary died um, it got a lot of publicity uh, she was in it and uh, and then it kind of fell apart uh, I want to say that there was a, uh, a, a there was a parting of ways between the producers the director and some of the producers but I, I and I could probably google this I don't know who was involved but was there do you have any insight does Mike have any insight into what happened to that. I mean, the film has got to be there, right? Hopefully that's not just went poop. Hopefully um, hard drives weren't burned in a barn. But I am curious. But by the way, that's a great reference to uh, Ken Whitman. Love you, Ken. Love you. Love you a long time. Ken, uh, Mrs. O'Leary's cow killed it. Yeah, that's the ticket. But I'm curious because it feels to me like there was probably a lot of value uh, in some of that content that may never see the light of day if it's all bound up in some uh, weirdness uh, of Gail. Thanks. Enjoy the podcast. We'll talk to you soon. All right. So Gail really has nothing to do with uh, as as either of these documentaries, perhaps it's, except being a subject, being a source of uh, history, lore on Gary. I believe Gary's uh, first wife is involved in, as in, again, as an interviewee. I'm going to try not to lean too close to the camera. My head gets really big when I get close. Um, however, like I said, the first documentary, Dungeons and Dragons, a documentary. Uh, yeah, uh, that's, that's, that's not happening. However, uh, The Great Kingdom, which was supposed to, I think, uh, release their documentary in, uh, what is it, uh, 2014? Uh, or they, whatever it was. They kicked it in 2014. Uh, yeah, there's, 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 there's uh, a, a lot of not happening there. However, we did initially get a trailer from back in 2014. I don't know how much further you want to go back. <laughs> The first seeds of this were when he started doing the Bronstein games. And I think the first trailer was was good. I mean, this is you looked at this, this is back when it kickstarted, and you said, This looks high quality. Hell they're using Led Zeppelin, right? For the musical soundtrack, so it's gotta be good. You can play one person. And that was a big intellectual leap. Let's each control a personal character. So, the initial uh, trailer for The Great Kingdom was uh, 
about three minutes long. Now, we are in 2021. Last year, believe it or not, because I know most of you are saying this shit just fucking ain't happening. Well, here, last year, they actually gave us an updated trailer. Let me find my link for it. So let's talk oh, about... That's not the link for it. How the hell did that happen? All right. Well, best laid plans of mice and men often go astray. Let's go right back to the link. Teaser trailer, which is dated September 13th, 2020. I will click on the link. Here we go. Now, you notice right away we're not using uh, Red Zeppelin as part of the soundtrack. The small town of Lake Geneva in 1971. Gary Gygax just isn't making enough money. The economy isn't great. There's not a lot of jobs available. Gary is on unemployment. The family does everything it can to get by. Then there comes a point where Gary has been designing games on the side for several years. Uh, he has a few successes. He's They're showing uh, Don't Give Up the Ship right now. It's published. He really wanted to design games the whole time, but he also wanted to support his family. And he poses this to Mary Jo, this woman with five children and all of these responsibilities and debts. And she says, yes, do what you love. Make games for a living. And uh, listen, I, I think between the way the two trailers start out, I think the new trailer is far superior. The, the first one reminds me a little bit of, uh, oh, God, popcorn, right? It's like, yay! And, and this one's a bit more serious. It takes a, a more serious tone to it. So Dave Artis and Gary are gaming buds, and they play postal mail games together. David and Gary are exchanging letters about the opinions. But now here's the thing. I'm going to just play in the background as I talk a little bit. Uh, the new trailer, the new, uh, you know, the new trailer for the Great Kingdoms uh, documentary was released on September 8th, 2020, and it has 1,170 views. All right. Now, uh, I got to say, that's not a promising sign that this is going to be an amazing uh, documentary when our hobby can't even get 10,000 views on it, barely gets 1,000 views on this on this documentary or the trailer. So it covers Guy Gax, it covers Orange. It, it, for those of us that have a, a, a background in this and kind of know some of the basics of the history, it looks the end of the first time I ever really interesting. Staggering out of I'm looking story. forward to it. I have no so, idea what... Where is it? Right? If this is where we are, where is it? Well, we have another update. Uh, it was a New Year's update, January 11th, 2021. So we're talking roughly three months ago. Hi, everyone. Like everyone who's gone through the past year, we really did have such high hopes to get so much accomplished. When we released the trail in September, our expectations were high that we could work our way through the pandemic and get the editing completed by the end of the year. That did not happen. Family members got sick, funds became scarce, and priorities were shifted. In other words, we went through what a lot of you have also or continue to go through during these trying times. Those complications still continue, unfortunately. Now, remember, they had roughly a fourth the budget of their bigger brother, which died and Wizard on the Vine. Uh, however, we have not given up. We are still solidly committed to finishing, to finish and deliver the Great Kingdom. To do that, we have been fortunate to find some help with the editing. Part of the problems we had faced was the issue of remote editing. Though editing is usually a solitary endeavor, in our case, we have a small team to work on the edit. To accomplish this in the COVID era and to keep everyone safe, 
It all has to be done remotely. That has been problematic, but with the added help and some limited resources, we believe we have a working solution, which we will be putting to the test in the coming weeks. All this to say that though we have not made great progress these last few months, we continue the work needed to finish. We do appreciate your continued patience. Please know that we are committed to finish. Thank you all, the TGK team. So what does that mean if you were a backer of the Dungeons and Dragons documentary from West Paw Games? If that's the case, you need to reach out to the Great Kingdom team, okay, and you need to tell them, hey, I backed the first Kickstarter, because they will, if and when this finally releases, they will uh, give you a copy, digital copy of this uh, documentary. For me, I wasn't a backer. I will pay full boat if and when it comes out. Documentaries are something that make me nervous when it comes to backing because the, the ideals are great. The thoughts going into it are generally awesome, but the ability to complete is often uh, a long, harrowed trail that leaves death and destruction in, in its wake. So that is the update for others that might have questions. I'm going to recommend that you do a search for the Great Kingdom, watch the uh, the video trailer. I, I think it's well worthwhile. I'm not playing the full of either one because I think you should go and actually watch the originals. But uh, on that note, we are still in the midst of the world of the pandemic. So take actions to keep yourself, your friends, your family, your loved ones, your community healthy and safe. Be safe, be well, God bless, roll those dice. Knock on wood. I'll be back again tonight to live stream with myself and my lovely wife, Rich, as we talk about gamers health. And if you like what you're listening to, if you like what you're watching, subscribe on YouTube, give it a like, give it a comment. Uh, I I work for you. You don't even fucking pay me. Ah! I do this because I love it. All right, folks. Laters.